Hi YouTube, today is Thursday the 13th of September 2017. Hello and welcome if you've only just joined me. My name's Jan Silver and I've been video logging my journey to and beyond the gastric bypass which I had on the 15th of March 2017. It's almost six months in fact. If I had it on the 15th of March and it's the 13th of September it's really almost my six month third of surgery. It's such a, a word, we don't really have it in our dictionary, a surgiversary. It is the anniversary of my surgery. Um, things are going pretty good. I'm doing really well. Sorry I didn't do an update yesterday. I didn't feel there was much to say really. And today I'm, um, I'm doing okay. Today I'm having my vitamin B12, first ever vitamin B12 injection. And for those of you that don't know, when you've had a gastric bypass, you have a malabsorption um, and you need to basically up your vitamins and supplement them because they're not being taken in through the food and stuff that you eat. So I'm having that today. Joy needle. Apparently it stings like a bitch, but hey ho, I've had plenty of injections, blood taken. I donate my platelets, so it's not really going to bother me at all. I'm having a bit of an odd one today in my head. Um, I put an, I say an outfit, I put a top on this morning, which is quite a large top, um, but it actually made me feel really fat. You know, even though I know I've lost five stone, three pounds, um, you know, my, I know that in my head, but you're... So yeah, I'm having a bit of a struggle today with myself and what I look like, weirdly. I, it's a very bizarre um, thing, but... I know tomorrow I'll be fine. I think my concern in my head is um, that I'm going away on Friday in our camper van with my husband for two weeks traveling around Europe. And the fact that I'm gonna be stepping out of my normal routine, as much as I'm excited about seeing um, Tom, this little boy that I knew, and Julie, his, his adoptive mother in France, um, I'm going to be stepping out of my routine of foods and exercise. So I suppose I've got a little bit of an inner fear that I'm going to gain shitloads of weight while I'm away. Obviously, I'm going to try and stay on track, guys, but I'm on holiday. You know, I'm the first one to have said that this I had this surgery so that I wasn't on a complete diet constantly. I, I, I didn't want that. I know it's about making better choices. I know you have to work at it. I know the exercise has to go hand in hand with these better choices. Um, and I'm definitely doing all of that. And don't get me wrong, it doesn't mean to say I'm about to go on holiday and start to eat sweet crap because I don't eat that anyway. But it will be, I'll be drinking probably more than I do at home. You know, my husband and I try to stick to Friday and Saturday nights. It doesn't always work, but, you know, to have a glass of wine and I'm going to, obviously that will be, I'll be in holiday mode. So it will be interesting and I'll be as honest with you. I will be honest with you about how much I weigh. I'll weigh in tomorrow. I'll possibly weigh in on Friday, actually, and then um, we'll see when I get back. I won't weigh in for two weeks. So, yeah, I suppose I'm a bit scared about that. I'm a bit scared that it's all going to go to pot. Maybe that's a normal, natural feeling. You know, I didn't feel like that in Cyprus. I went on an all-inclusive, didn't I, not that long ago with my friend, and I still went to the gym Um and Howie and I will be walking, obviously, but it won't be my normal gym sessions or swim. So um, I'm, I'm just going to have to go with it, aren't I? And, and hope that I don't pile on the pounds. And if I do, well, I just get back and get straight back on track. Don't you know that that's obviously the way it's going to have to be. But we'll see. I'm probably worrying unnecessarily. And, I, you know, sadly, I don't want that to overtake how I feel about the holiday because I'm super excited about seeing different places. You know, um, I'm really looking forward to Friday night as well. Actually, I'm meeting up with Rainy, one of the girls that I've met through this um, weight loss surgery community. She lives quite close to where we're camping. Uh, our channel tunnel on Saturday is super early. So we've decided to camp overnight in a, an English campsite so that we're close to the channel tunnel and Rainy lives really close to there. So I'm really looking forward to meeting up with her and her husband. They've also got a camper van motorhome. So I know how he's going to have a lot of questions for her husband about certain things around Europe. And, you know, hopefully we're super prepared. I think Howie's even got a little, um, 
a toll thing, you know, one of the cards to go in there so we don't have to pay cash as we go around. So, yeah, Harry's been really, he's been great. He's he's sort of mapped out the route where we're going. I don't even know. I just, I'll just drive and it'll be exciting for me. But, yeah, so I'm looking forward to the only, and, and, and something else. I suppose I'm in a bit of a negative mode today, really, aren't I, by the sound of things? I don't mean to be. But, and this is, sounds so stupid for anybody that doesn't love animals or cats, but I've had Piju, my little cat, for the last five, five years. And this two weeks away is going to be the longest I've been away from her. Hmm. Much to my husband's disgust, because every time he's wanted to book a holiday, he's wanted two weeks and I've said no, because I've got this cat and she's a commitment to me. And um, I've said 10 days we've split it. So actually... I've kind of given in and said, okay, we can go for Ted for two weeks. And now I'm thinking, she's going to miss me. I'm going to miss her. Oh, she's a cat. I know she'll cope. And the good thing is I've even got my son and his girlfriend living at home. So it's, I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm, I'm not worried about her. I just think, mm. and I think she knows I'm going away. I started packing this morning. She hasn't left my side, you know. She doesn't demand attention as such. If I'm in a room, she just wants to be there. And, you know, anyway, I'm being super silly. I know that. That's just me. I'm recording this to, you know, maybe again, maybe it's my hormones a bit screwed up. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm looking forward to, as soon as I've had this ginger injection, I'm heading off to Henley-on-Thames, where I grew up, and I'm meeting up with Lilycorn, Lisa, you would have all heard me talk about Lisa. She's one of my best friends and I'm going to go and grab her for lunch and take her out in her lunch break. She hasn't got a day off, but I haven't seen her for a while and I'm heading off for two weeks also. So I figured that I'd better make an effort and go and see her. And then I guess I'll swing by my daughter and granddaughter. Oh, it'd be rude not to, right? Need to get my willow fix. Also, two weeks without willow. Oh starting to regret this holiday i'm only joking guys i'm now being really facetious i'm not regretting this holiday i'm going to have an amazing time and we're going to be so busy i won't think about my cat or my granddaughter <laughs> anyway yeah that's it from me today it's a super short one um i need to go in now i think it's almost time for me to go and get jabbed so i hope you're all really really well and i hope today is kind to you i hope that everybody's well healthy and happy and I will chat to you again no doubt tomorrow I've got shitloads to do actually I think that's probably what's on my mind very little time and lots to do even tomorrow I think I said it's Thursday and it's Wednesday today it's Wednesday tap tap curly whirly cuckoo tomorrow's Thursday because I've got a meeting with my volunteer group tomorrow and then Friday we're leaving. So I think I haven't given myself enough time. I've got a lot to do and very little time to do it in. Such is life. What will be, will be. Anyway, guys, chat to you soon. Bye.